Hey everyone, it's Liz with Real Girl Beauty and I went on my little mini shopping spree for Ulta and Sephora products. I did purchase some that are the Ulta brand and I wanted to give you a review. Now, Ulta's line is their own specific line. It's the same as the Sephora collection. It's kind of like a, their store brand of cosmetics. Some of the items are really great and some of them aren't. So I've got one example here. I'm wearing both of these actually. Um, but one of them I liked significantly more than the other so I thought I'd give you a good versus a bad. Uh, what I liked is the Ulta Lip Crayon, and this color is Fashionista, and that's what I have on. What I like about this is that it is a point. You can go in and get right in to your lip line like you're using a lip liner, and then go in with the flat side and kind of fill in the rest. It is super creamy. It is really pigmented. Um, if you look at, the, I mean, that is smooth fantastic it's creamy it's wonderful I really like it it lasts a long time it's just a good product and they actually have quite a bit of a range in colors this was just the one that I kind of gravitated towards I've been really into pinks like rosy rosy pinks I don't know why it's just something I've been into um, so that's why I gravitated to that now I'm gonna go with the bad and I used this do it filming my tutorial that I just did and I used it today. In the tutorial I just uh, finished, I used this product, but it was the first time I ever used it and I thought maybe there's some kind of like wax around it to protect it. I don't know, but it is the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner. And if you saw in the tutorial, I really struggled to get it onto my eyelid. And again, I was thinking, well, maybe they've got, cause some beauty products get like almost like a wax on them to kind of protect the product until you go to use it. Like all of the baked, um, like baked eyeshadow, baked highlighters, like that kind of stuff. There's always some kind of film over them that almost protects them. They have to crack into it to get the product out. So when I first used it and I was in the tutorial, that was kind of what I was thinking was, well, maybe there's something on this. So if I go and kind of roll it and get a point out of it and take off what you see exposed, it'll work better. It didn't, which is a shame. I love this color. This is bronze. It is a fantastic color, but like it works on my hand. It's not even that great. It's kind of patchy. Um, it just, on my eyelid, it was like dragging and repeatedly going over and over and over to try to get something out of it. It was really hard. It was just not a, a really easy product to use. It took a long time to get something out of it. And even then, I'm like, I don't know if I like it or not. Because when you have to go back over again and again and again like that, it begins to blunt the sharpened point you have and then you end up with a less precise line and again this color for me is very much a color I would be into it's a really nice bronzy brown but the formula is just too dry it's too hard it just doesn't deliver as well as some of even less expensive than Ulta's brand eyeliners have worked better and been easier to use. So I would say stay away from the Ulta automatic eyeliner. So there you go. You've got a thumbs up and a thumbs down from the Ulta line. Of course, all of this is opinion. If you've used it and you like it, keep using it. Um, but I think it's just, it's also easier to kind of get a lip product right than it is to get an eyeliner right. And I think that's what they did. I think the eyeliner, eh. but the lip products there, they're all of the lip products I've tried from them um, so far have been pretty good. So if you're on a budget, you want something a little more upscale, but you don't want to go and spend a ton of money, I would check out the Ulta collection and again, try the lip products because I think they're good. I will talk to you soon with a new video. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Leave, my, leave your comments down below and subscribe if you have not done so already. I will talk to you soon.